Hi everybody and welcome to KUM's Healthy Holiday Segment. We are at the Boca Box with the owner, Jess Rosario. How are you doing, Jess? I'm doing good. Well, we are, as, as you know, the holiday season, it means lots of family get-togethers, lots of food. And so Jess is going to talk to us about some healthy holiday tips to kind of keep away the pounds, and, but while at the same time still enjoy the holidays, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of people come into the holiday season thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm going to eat so much food. <laughs> and I'm going to splurge and then I'm going to regret everything afterward. You know, right. we want to be able to kind of plan out our holidays so that we don't feel guilty about, about eating a lot. So um, I guess for, for some tips for this holiday, I'd say the first thing uh, you should do is think very simple. And at the Boca Box, we like to think uh, kind of like a caveman or a, a islander caveman, you know. Uh, but for Thanksgiving, we want to think like a Native American or think like a, a pilgrim. Keep it simple. Uh, back then, the table had um, turkey, ham, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. And so when we get up to the table, our fiesta table or our, or our party table, we want to look at the table first. You know, don't line up yet. Just look at what you got to eat, what the spread is like, and then kind of plan out your meals. Look where the salads are at. Look for the, the good proteins, mm -hmm. fruits, vegetables, and, and whatnot. Right, kind of like what you kind of don't focus on on the calories, right? Yeah. Right, and focus on um, the quality yeah. of the uh, nutrient dense foods. This is all kind of uh, like the paleo lifestyle that you promote, right? Yeah, you know, a lot of people get they got so caught up into, oh, I need to eat a low calorie diet or that's too many calories. But instead of calories, I found that uh, people should focus on, like you said quality foods, nutrient dense foods that provide us with a good amount of calories, but more importantly, a lot of vitamins, a lot of protein, a lot of uh, good carbohydrates and, and fat. Mm -hmm. We talk about foods, but during the holiday season, it also means, you know, people like to drink, you know, how do you kind of choose healthy options? Um, you know, to me, health is always about balance. And if you're going to drink, right, um, and even if you're going to eat a lot of dessert, I would kind of weigh things out. Um, if I'm going to drink something, I'm not going to drink something with a lot of sugar. Um, I stay away from all the sodas. Uh, there's a lot of high fructose corn syrup. It's not really good for our body. So I stay away from that and I drink lots of water. Uh, if I go for desserts, I would rather people eat their sugars um, and, and in small amounts, not, not going overboard, eat their sugars instead of drinking their sugars because then you can kind of monitor that. So again, just, just balance that out. Um, just look at the foods that you're going to eat and plan out what uh, you'd like to eat, but you don't want to overindulge in. Right. Now we talked about uh, nutrition. What about fitness? Well, nutrition and fitness go, go hand in hand. You can't expect to eat good and eat healthy without exercising. So this holiday season, it's a long one. It's two, three months worth of parties and stuff like that. So yeah. always uh, try to eat right, think sensibly, think simple with nutrition, but always get in some form of physical activity, whether it's running on the road or it's uh, taking some fitness classes. Okay, well thank you so much. Today we only talked about some of the healthy options uh, for the holiday season, but in the coming weeks, we're also gonna show you some, some healthy ways to prepare your holiday meals. So stay tuned and we'll see you again next week.